Wave lap on the front stretch for your super stock feature event. We'll go green next time by Paul Wright, Josh Bowler. Boy, it is so neat seeing Josh's car. If you made your way in late, the 05, a whole new wrap around the car. Going back to the 1800s here in the state of Indiana, all the policemen who have lost their lives in the line of duty along with their animals as well, their service animals. Great tribute. Well, let's see if Paul Wright can somehow keep the 05 behind him coming out at turn number four. That's been a hard thing for anybody to do this year. Here we go, green flag. And Josh Bowler jumps out to the quick advantage. Scheidler's going to come into the second spot in the orange number 64. Second 27 dropping out. Tough break for Austin Long. We start on the inside of road two. We saw smoke early on out of the 27, and he heads back to the pit area. One and two in points, chasing each other around here tonight at Lincoln Park Speedway. Josh Bowler in the 64, Bryce Scheidler. Scheidler picked up your 2018 championship, and right now it's the 05 of Bowler looking to pick up the championship this year. Josh Bowler takes the 05 and has stuck it right in the middle of the racetrack. Bryce Scheidler is trying to find enough room on the outside. Almost takes away the full car length advantage as the 05 right smack in the middle. We've got a spin in two. We've gone yellow. Yellow flag for the two of Rogers. Seven laps again have been scored. Seven in the book. Right here might be the best chance for Bryce Scheidler. He had a little bit of momentum coming out at two, but that's all taken away. He had to get on the binders going into turn three. Scheidler's car looks just a little bit quicker than the 05, but he, we've gone yellow. So the yellow down in turn number four. I believe that's the 11 in Kenny Fields. We'll watch this restart here. Some momentum. Last time, looked like Scheidler had some going down the backstretch on the restart, but had to get on the binders and see if he can get a run right here. He did that time. He got the ball up behind him. There goes Scheidler to the inside. He took the look to the inside. But it didn't work for him. He thought that might be happening. Now Scheidler goes back to where he's been most comfortable. That's to the outside, trying to find a way around the 05. Halfway this time. We'll check your running order. There's Bowler, Scheidler, your top two. Paul right in third. Massey then. The four of Reigns and the 45 of McClara. Cullen Goodman's had a good night tonight. Cullen now moves up to the sixth spot in car number one. 
Scheidler's trying the inside down in three and four. Inside three and four. Now he's staying to the inside down in one and two. Bowler is not straight from his spot right in the middle of the track, except for maybe right there. Oh, Bryce Scheidler really loose in turn four. Somehow he's able to gather. Luckily, nobody right behind him. They closed on him, but enough room there. He was able to run it down the hill. So in some way, could this come back to help Bryce Scheidler? Sometimes you need a couple laps of really good momentum. A chance to get a deep breath. And then make a run at your leader. Plenty of laps left. Yellow flag, car number 11, Matt Jordan in turn number two. 14C with a flat left side tire. Bryce Scheidler is trying to think about the other restarts, which ones work best for him. Josh Bowler, on the other hand, is trying to figure out what's worked best for him. He's going to run him down the hill and keep the momentum coming off of turn number four with six to go. Boy, Bryce Scheidler held right on the tail that time. Scheidler just can't get the car to stick coming off the corner as well as he needs to to be able to pass him on the inside. As Brian Hottie tells him five to go. Got a car right in the middle at turn number two. That time Josh Bowler was able to get a car length or two away. So that's the best start that Josh Bowler has seen. With five to go. Well, you can just see at times, especially when he runs up high, that Scheidler's awfully quick coming off the corners. Then he'll get right behind the 05 and just not have a clear enough line to be able to get around him. He's trying to run the momentum through one and two that time, but you'll see it right here as he gets into turn three. That time is his best entrance to turn three. Was able to keep it rolling. The 11 of Jordan off the track. This time by, your leaders will have a couple more laps to try to settle this one. Uh, he just got some help there to Josh Bowler as Bryce Scheidler missed his marks going into turn number three, and all of a sudden, Josh Bowler finds himself way out in front. All of that just went for naught. As we are going to come down to the white, we've got a Here we go, coming back down with two to go. Josh Bowler has led 18, 19, and then of course 20, the most important one. Oh, a little bit of contact right there. There's still those to tell. The 05 with the white flag's got one to go. Bryce Scheidler's just lost a lot of momentum right there in turn two. It looks like the 05 for the ninth time at Lincoln Park Speedway is going to pick up the win this summer. Chandler will finish second. Reigns will come home third. Massey, then Paul Wright. Those are your top five in your Super Stock A main. A good classic battle. Well, he's already got himself down there and been over the scales. The 05 for time number nine has found himself here. He's got half a green castle here in front of me. I make my way down. There he is. Bowler all the way to the top. I've seen him when he jumped up there. 
Remember the fallen on the side of his car here tonight. And again, all the names here on the side. Josh, let's first talk about the race. And then we'll talk about the wrap second. Great race there between you and Bryce Scheidler. You guys raced each other hard. He tried you inside, tried you outside, but just didn't have enough momentum to get around just because you ran perfect each and every lap. Yeah, I knew Scheidler would be back there. Um, he's been on our tail all year long, past his leading features. Uh, he's been doing great this year, the second part of the season. Um, I got to thank all my guys that put this car together this week. A um, couple people that Deb and Romley paid to help get the, um, the wrap put on the car. And... Uh, it's definitely a special, special night for us. Yeah, we had an opportunity. Of course, you carried the American flag around for us and also the police flag around as well. We talked about the names on the side. Who came up with the idea? And again, give the fans an explanation of what you have on the car and what it means to you here this evening. Yeah, I've been thinking about this for a couple of years. Um, financially, it's hard to do. Um, but the past thir uh, three months or so, uh, we, me and uh, our graphics company, KBC Graphics, been working back and forth about putting a good um, layout together, you know. Um, the Sheriff's Department, Vova in the front office, she helped me put all the names together off of a website. Um, then I had to add my, my little canines guys uh, to the mix here, so they mean a lot to me. I know there's a great article, and we encourage the fans to make sure that they read the article as well. And a big thanks to your graphics group again and everybody that has helped. We hope to see this one back in Victory Lane. And as always, we want to keep all of our police and all of our safety people that do a great job for us. Uh, we want to keep them safe and give them a big thanks. Definitely. Um, this is all meant for uh, the family, you know, lost their, uh, their loved ones, you know, sacrificing their life, the line of duty, and their community. So it's all about them tonight. There you go. It's all about them tonight. How about it? Josh Bowler and KBC Graphics doing a great job coming up with a big idea.